Hi everyone, today I am going to be telling you the real way to get rich and adopt me. I will be giving you tips and tricks that you can use, even starting from nothing. I have gathered all these tips from my years of playing Adopt Me and I hope they will help you too. The first part of this video will be methods to getting rich with no Robux, and the second part will have the methods that do use Robux. Okay so the first tip is to hatch eggs. This is because you could get legendary pets. I would suggest hatching gumball machine eggs, as those pets are limited and will go out of game eventually. If you want to hatch in game eggs I suggest pet eggs because they are cheaper than royal eggs but have twice the chance of cracked egg to get a legendary. If you get a lot of duplicates from the eggs I suggest making neons or megas to trade. People will offer good stuff for them since a lot of people don't want to age pets, and you could also get good offers from in-game neons or megas if they are preppy pets like ant or poodle. And if you get legendary pets from any of the eggs you could, trade them for other good pets. Or if you get enough legendaries you could even make a neon and trade it for a good offer. People will give good offers for neon legendaries or even normal legendaries from the gumball machine eggs since they are hard to get and are only in-game for a limited time. Tip 2. If you don't want to hatch eggs because you already have a lot of the low-tier pets from the egg then I suggest trading eggs. You can trade even a cracked egg for an ultra-rare pet which is a pretty good deal if you don't want to get low-tier pets. You could also trade an egg for multiple pets like 3 to 9 pets. It's easier to trade a gumball machine egg for multiple pets. It's also good to trade gumball machine eggs when they are about to go out of game because then people will want those eggs before they leave and will give good offers. You could also save the gumball machine eggs and over time they will gain value and you can trade them for a good offer since not a lot of people will have them anymore. A good example is Aussie eggs. They have decent value and are worth one or more legendary pets right now. So if you save eggs for long enough you can get really good offers. It will take quite a while for them to gain value though. Tip 3. Trade Hyperspeed Potions. Hyperspeed Potions are really good to trade for pets because there is a way to get them for free. So you basically got a free pet. If you don't know, you can buy Hyperspeed Potions in the Sky Castle for 40 bucks. But there is a way to get them for free. There is a speed potion cauldron you can buy for 650 bucks and then you can brew hyperspeed potions from there. But if you brew a potion and then sell the cauldron, you get all your money back as long as you don't leave it in your house for too long. So you can basically get free hyperspeed potions this way. You could even get a bunch of cauldrons if you have enough bucks and then sell them all for full price once you have brewed a lot of potions. A lot of people don't know you can get hyperspeed potions for free so you can trade them for pets. Here are some trades I got. If you don't have enough bucks to get a speed potion cauldron then you can try trading healing apples. You can get them for free from the hospital. Healing apples are a bit harder to trade but it's also a good option if you don't have enough bucks to get a cauldron. Tip 4. Trade for neon pets. If you don't have enough time to make neon pets or you just don't like aging pets, then I suggest trading a fair offer for them, and then you could trade them away for an overpay offer. You can still profit from doing this but you will profit a bit less. And if you age the pets, however, it also takes way less time than aging pets so it is a good alternative. Tip 5. Save bucks. Saving bucks for updates is really helpful because if you get a new update item right when the update has released, people will overpay for it since it was just added. I would suggest not spending bucks on in-game things like cars or gifts since you can get gifts free from Log and Streak and you can get vehicles from gifts as well. Spending bucks on always in game items is not a good way to spend bucks, unless you really really want something. If you save bucks for updates, you can get pets before a lot of other people and they will give good offers for new pets or items, and it will help you to get rich quickly. Pet where you could buy if you want since some people are willing to give really good offers if they don't want to wait for it. To be on sale, cute pet wear or preppy pet wear is the easiest to trade but pet wear it's still a bit hard to trade since a lot of people don't want it. Tip 6. Do trading challenges. Trading challenges are a really good way to get rich. You can do any type of trade challenge, like common to legendary, or common to high tier pet. If you want to start a trade challenge you can literally just start with a common pet or even with a free item. Then you can keep trading up your pet until you finish the trade challenge. For example, if you were doing common to legendary trade challenge, you could start with a cat and then trade it for an uncommon pet like a poodle, and then you could trade that for better like a parakeet and a zebra. Trading challenges can take a lot of time but it's worth it if you really want a pet. You can make trades where you profit, 
or even trades that are fair but the other person's pet has more demand. If you're like me and you don't like trading a lot, trade challenges are a way to make trading more fun while getting a good pet at the end. Here is an example of a common to neon legendary trade challenge I did a few months ago. Tip 7. No values. Knowing values can be really helpful if you're trying to trade for a pet you want, or if you don't want to get loose trades. There is a lot of ways to figure out value. Here are some ways I like to use. 1. Try seeing offers on what you're trading. 2. See what other people are. Saying the value is 3. You can use tradery to see what people are trading for things. However, I wouldn't rely on that one alone because some things on there can be overpriced. Four, no pets that have similar values. For example, if a new Robux pet has just been added in game, it's usually worth around a neon legendary. If it's 800 to 1000 Robux and was just added also pets from eggs usually have similar value. Like a Baku could have similar value to an ancient dragon or a tree kangaroo tip eight, profit trade. Profit trading is when you trade something for a pet, then you trade that pet away for a good offer and then trade back for that pet while still keeping some of the stuff you got from the good offer. Example, let's say you traded a neon poodle for a ride potion, then you traded the ride potion for a baku and a hawk, and then you traded just the hawk back for the ride potion, then you would have gained a baku. Another example of a profit trade is when you start with something and get profit from trading it. Example, let's say you had a neon poodle and traded it for two dragonflies, and then you traded one dragonfly back for a neon poodle then you would have profited one dragonfly. Profit trading is a really good method to get pets, and you can profit trade with anything that has decent demand. Profit trade can take some time but you could also get a ton of profit from it. You could also do profit trading while you're doing a trade challenge. Tip 9. Be nice to everyone. You won't get trades if you're rude and being nice can make other people's day better or even help you get trades. Don't be a rude person. You also can't expect people to overpay all the time. Tip 10. Join rich servers. You should only join rich servers if you have a pet that those people will want, because you won't get any trades if you aren't trading a pet they want. A lot of people say it's easy to get overpays in rich servers but that's only true if you're trading a high value pet or maybe a new pet. There are two ways to join rich servers. The first way is to go to adopt me server list and I suggest setting it to descending servers and exclude full servers. Then just pick a server that looks like it has a lot of robux avatars and join it. You might have to wait a bit if the server is full. The other way to join rich servers is to use youtubers private server links. There is a lot of adopt me youtubers who have private servers for their fans to join and trade in, and they are usually rich servers. Here are some groups with server links. Tip 11. Don't cross trade or trust trade, only do normal trades. Cross trading is against Adopt Me's rules and you could get banned for it. I think most people don't know it's not allowed because a lot of people do cross trade but I've seen some people who were like id why I got banned. Didn't do anything wrong I just cross traded a few times but cross trading is not allowed. Even though it's a fast way to get pets you could get scammed or you could get banned since it's against the rules. You also shouldn't trust trade because it's usually a scam. If the other person goes first, then it's fine but don't scam them either. And don't actively be trying to do trust trades because they are usually scams. If you don't want to get scammed, you have to know about the scams that are out there. There is a ton of YouTube videos that talk about different types of scams so I would suggest watching some if you don't know a lot about scams. I will also put a link in the description for an Adopt Me Help page that says common types of scams and how to avoid them. You could lose all your pets or good pets if someone scams you. Tip 1. Buy Ride Potions. Ride Potions are really good to trade with and you can get rich really fast by trading them. Even though they are always in game, they have a lot of value because lots of people want to ride their pets. You could also trade fly potions but they're more expensive and the offers are similar to the ride potions so personally I think it's better to go with ride potions. You can trade one ride potion for one to two legendaries. 
more if you're lucky but two is the most a lot of people will give since ride potions are cheap compared to other aerobic stuff. If you have a lot of ride potions you can get a lot of legendaries from them, or you can even trade them for a neon legendary. You can also use ride potions to profit trade or start a trade challenge. Tip 2. Buy new Robux pets. If there is a new Robux pet being added into the game you should buy it and trade it for a good offer before the value decreases. You can also buy multiple and that can be an easy way to get high tier pets if you trade multiple new Robux pets for a high tier. I suggest not to spend Robux on in-game pets unless it's a pet that has just been added or on other things like cars or houses. It's also really important to trade new Robux pets before value decreases. You could get 1 to 2 Neon Legendaries worth of stuff from 1800 to 1000 Robux pet. You could even get 3 to 4 Legendaries for a 500 Robux pet. Tip 3. Don't use Robux to buy bucks or hatch eggs. It's really expensive to buy bucks with. Robux and you can get bucks pretty fast without using Robux. Also if you spend Robux on hatching eggs, you might get a lot of commons when you could have bought and traded ride potions with that Robux and got way better pets. Of course it's up to you what to spend your Robux on but this is just my opinion. Tip 4. Have Robux for big updates like Halloween or Winter. Adopt Me usually releases expensive limited time pets during these events so it's good to have a lot of Robux so you can get those pets and trade them. Currency is also sometimes cheap in those events so if you want to get a pet that costs candy or gingerbread or something right away you can use Robux to get that currency. I only suggest doing this if you really want the pet fast to trade it or something, because otherwise you can just do a lot of the minigames. Tip 5. Don't buy non-Robux pets with Robux. And don't buy pets with real money. There is websites where you can buy pets with real money and there is also people who want to trade pets for Robux. This is not allowed and is against the rules. It's also easy to get scammed doing these if you're going first. I know it sounds like an easy way to get pets but you could get scammed or banned from doing that. Also it's easy to trade pets that cost Robux for high tier pets anyways. Alright, that is all the tips and tricks I have for today's video. I hope these helped you guys a lot. Of course the most important thing is that you don't give up and be persistent. Also, if you want me to make a how to grow your inventory video, comment down below. Bye guys.